everyone, my name is Christina Chisler. I am the Recreational Clerk and Administrative Assistant for the Borough of Mount Arlington, as well as a Certified Yoga Teacher. Um, today's charity yoga segment will be more getting into our hips. Um, if you have not had a chance to watch the warm-up video, I would highly recommend you do so, just to start getting your body moving a little more, body blood pumping, all that fun stuff. So other than that, uh, if you have not had a chance to, please make sure you speak to a physician before beginning any exercise program. Um, if anything feels too much, don't do it. Don't do it as extreme. I do try to give as many options as I can. Just find whatever feels comfortable to you. So let's begin. I will begin with a short little warm up. So if you'd like closing your eyes, bring your hands up to your thighs, palms up for receiving energy, palms down for grounding, just letting your breath just slowly calm itself down. We'll start with a forward fold here. So just extending your legs out in front of you, arms overhead, big inhale, exhale, folding forward, whatever feels good. If you can't touch your toes, don't worry about it. Just the act of folding forward, you're starting to activate the back of your legs, warming up your hamstrings, warming up your left thighs, everything just folding forward. It's like a little jolt of caffeine. Lifting yourself up and we'll start with a hamstring stretch. So bring it in one leg, bending it in, keeping the other leg extended out. If this is enough for you, stay here. If you want to take it a little farther, try just extending down over that bent leg, grabbing your toes if it's accessible or just having it just extended down. Don't be putting your weight onto your bent knee. Try to keep it nice and activated in your core as you extend down. Extended leg, I think I said bent, sorry about that. Keeping the toes elevated, that helps keep the activation in your hamstring. So we try not to have loose feet after the yoga. Lifting on up, switching legs. Taking your time to get there. The slower the movements, the more activation there is, the more strength is built up. The faster you move, the more chance you have of injury. So make sure you just take your time. And extending forward if that is in your practice this morning. Once again, nice and loose, not gripping, not holding on, keeping everything nice and activated and not falling onto one of the legs. Extend your feet. And lift them back up, extending legs out. As far as I can go, just a wide legged forward fold, just finding wherever it feels good. Exhale, fold it back down. If you can't touch the floor, don't worry about it. If you want, you can always extend down over your legs. Just find whatever feels good to you. Once again, active feet. Inhaling all the way back up, bending the knees, keeping them spread out, finding your comfortable spot in your chair. I like to stay as far to the edge as my body will let me without falling forward. Once again, Find what fits for you and stay there. Putting your hands on your thighs, fingertips facing in. One of my very favorite things to do are shoulder dips. Feels amazing on the shoulders, helps open up the hips, helps with the core with, and the hips. Because you have everything centered. This is goddess pose, goddess leg. So if you were standing, standing like that, then set your seated. So finding wherever your hands feel good on your legs and starting with whichever side you'd like, just bending that elbow, shoulder all the way in, looking up to the side. Lifting back up, nice and slow, bending in. Lifting up, bend it in. Lift it up. Once again, you're not putting your weight in to your arms as much. You're really using your core. You're sitting back, on your booty, keeping yourself on the chair, but your legs are engaged. 
So in theory, if you feel very strong and you don't need the chair, the chair could just slide out from underneath you. That's the idea you want to have. You want to feel light while you do so. It comes with practice. It comes with time. Just enjoy the feeling your shoulders get as your spine warms up, as your shoulders go into your spine. I don't know about you, but the colder the weather gets, the more stiff I get. And all the way back up to center. Beautiful. Bring those legs back up in. Inhaling arms up. Exhaling back down. And all the way back up. As we set up for eagle pose. Eagle is just twisting yourself all around. So I actually have a lady and I love her to death. She can do a double eagle. I'll show you a double eagle if my legs will let me do it. So all you're really doing is crossing your legs. If you can hook your foot underneath, awesome. This is a double. This is ridiculous. I can't always do that. Find you. I personally like to cross at my ankles. But just the idea is that you're squeezing in. Think of it in consonants. You want to keep, I always, whenever I would teach my kids, I would always tell them, think of P legs. You're squeezing your legs in together as tight as they can go. By squeezing your legs in, you're also releasing your lower back. So finding whatever feels good, because this is also working on the outside of your thighs. And if this is it, awesome. If you want to take a little farther, go post your arms. I always like to bring the one leg on top. I like to bring that arm in first. Then take the other one, you can swing it underneath or high five for a full eagle wrap. In which case, if you do do this, make sure the arms are up and even. You'll feel it in your upper back as it releases. You should be able to find a little spot in the middle of your arms to find your drift you gave. If this is too much, don't forget, it's only a contest with yourself. You're learning, relearning about yourself. You can bring your arms down to give yourself a bear hug, or you can bring your arms together. Just using that pressure, you're still keeping the upper back activated as long as you keep your arms up. I still like to do bear hooks. So just find out where you are and just squeeze in, eyes closed if you'd like. Just enjoying that whole body stretch as you hug yourself in in more ways than one. And releasing your arms, releasing your legs, shaking them out as needed. Reminder, if you like any of these poses, you're more than welcome to come back to them, do them a little longer, whatever makes you happy. But until then, crossing your legs over again, finding what feels good, whether it's the ankles, a full wrap, whatever feels good, just squeezing it in, squeezing it as tight as you can go without hurting yourself. Just finding that happy spot. Like just squeeze in. You're working your gluteus medius here as well, so you should feel a little bit here. Practicing the arms again. This time, opposite arm comes in. Swinging it over. Hook in the hands. Arms are up. Or the bear hug. Or the arms together. Once again, the important thing is you're keeping your arms up. So this is an even line, so you're feeling it in your upper back as well as the lower back. And just squeeze everything in. Holding on tight. Letting go. Always feels so good. Shaking out, do whatever feels good. One more, one of my favorite poses, which is pigeon. This one is seated pigeon. So once again, find that comfy spot on your chair if you moved around a little bit. And whichever leg you want to start with, I'm going to start with my right leg, figure four on top. You want to try to get your ankle and your knee, or not, well, not your knee, the top of your knee, so your thigh, as even as possible. If you notice, my leg does not go straight down. Why? Because I'm normal. My hips are a little too tight this morning. So once again, you could do this tomorrow and everything could be perfectly flat. That's the beauty of practicing. It's the beauty of yoga. So finding where it feels good. 
Put one hand on your knee, one hand on your ankle. And if this is good and you feel it in your inner thigh, awesome. If you want to take a little farther, just float down more into a sleeping pigeon using the torso as your weight to slowly just let yourself fall over that leg, adding some pressure to it, bringing your arms down if it's accessible. You can always keep them up if this feels good. Whatever feels accessible to you. Just enjoying the stretch. Once again, if this is too much for you, you always come out of it. Whatever feels good. Rome wasn't built in the day, neither was the yoga body. You have a body, you can do yoga. It's fine. Just some stretches take a little longer. That's why we practice. Nobody's ever woken up and been a rock attack with this. We have to learn. And then lift yourself all the way back up. Maybe moving your leg once again, going slow. Taking out through whatever feels good. We're setting up on the opposite leg. Same as before. Just making sure that you're not pressing into that knee. You're just placing over the ankle, making that figure four. One hand on the knee, one hand on the ankle. And if this is good, stay. If you did it on the other side, you want to try it on this side. Try lowering yourself all the way down. When you're ready, lifting yourself all the way back up. Hopefully you're feeling a little looser in your legs. Do one more quick little leg stretch here. And then you'll be done. You can always go back to any of these, whatever feels good to you. So just a little thank you to your legs for doing all that little extra work, giving all the hips a little more love. Picking whatever leg you want, just lifting it up. Put your hands on your shin, behind your thigh, just the act of lifting that leg up. Find wherever feels good. Slowly dropping it down and switching legs. Once again, behind the thigh, in front of the shin. Just the act of being able to lift your leg up, perfect. Just find whatever feels good. You're finding, yoga gives you the ability to find space in your body, in yourself, everything. That's why you've never met somebody come out of yoga angry or go in angry. They don't really come out angry because it's just release. It's just a mental thing. Yoga is more than just the postures. And slowly releasing it down. Do whatever little thing you need to do. Last, we'll do one more quick forward fold here. Inhaling arms up overhead. Exhaling all the way down, seeing if maybe you can get a little deeper, hopefully. Just enjoying it. And lifting yourself up whenever you're ready. And then back to your center. If you're done for the day, I highly recommend just taking a moment to come back to yourself, come back to the beginning of our class where we sat in silence and you're releasing your back to your chair. Just giving your body a chance to rest and regroup. So anything that it learned today, anything that was opened up today, your body can enjoy that sensation before we get up and do our normal things for our day. So if you like to close your eyes, and just relaxing for as long as you'd like. stay as long as you would like to stay. I look forward to doing this again with you. You're letting me on, I'm just letting you. Namaste. Thank you again.